Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone here deserves a lot of credit, and it's uh, really wonderful to celebrate this week. Last Monday, I was with Patrick and Jim uh, at their nuptials uh, on Monday. After 50 years of love, they made it official according to the law of Illinois, and uh, I think it was such a tribute to everyone in this room, to Equality Illinois, and I want to thank Art and everyone who's been part of this movement. Uh, the great victories of our democracy and our country have always sprung from the grassroots up. Uh, everyday people knowing what has to be done, banding together for causes they believe in. And when you think back on it, just a year ago, we were still working on building a majority. And we did it last summer and into the fall. And on November 5th, the bill was passed by the people of Illinois represented in their General Assembly. Some of our members of the House and Senate are here, the sponsors of the legislation. I want to thank uh, the great effort uh, of those sponsors, Greg and Heather, for putting together the majorities in the House and Senate. Uh, matter of fact, that afternoon after it passed, we had a celebration in the governor's office in Springfield, and Abraham Lincoln was looking right over our shoulder. and there were, Folks, I think, that understood that Lincoln's government of the people had made, been made better by the people of Illinois. And that night, we went over to the governor's mansion, and we had more celebration. It was uh, a day worthy of great celebration. And Sam Yingling, Representative Yingling, came down to uh, where I was sitting, and he asked for permission uh, to uh, ask his uh, partner uh, whether he, they could be married and do it right under the picture of Abraham Lincoln at the governor's mansion. And so they got engaged that very evening uh, to the applause of so many people who had worked so hard. I can remember the rally we had for marriage equality a couple weeks earlier. It was a brutally raw day, terrible weather, and I was so impressed by the people who came to our state capitol from far and wide to show their, by their presence uh, the importance of this issue. So we. I think should celebrate our democracy, that uh, we came together and did the right thing for the people of Illinois and for all of history. And we did it when we signed the bill on November 20th at the University of Illinois at Chicago, which uh, I thought was such a special opportunity for people to come together as a family to celebrate an important victory for democracy and victory for all the people. And it was so inspiring that day to see the tremendous outpouring of love uh, that came together. And I had 100 pens brought uh, to that signing ceremony. And to sign your name with 100 different pens is not an easy task. <laughs> if you see the next day in the Chicago Sun-Times, they actually showed a copy of the final bill page and the si signature. It looks a little squiggly there. It wasn't because my arm was squiggling, but we had to make sure that all the people who had such a key role in making this important reform and day pa possible uh, had uh, some momentum of that, uh, of that special day. And we brought up Abraham Lincoln's desk from Springfield, the desk he composed the first inaugural address before he left Springfield. We brought that desk up to sign the bill on because we think it is important that this day in history and yesterday, or yes, last Monday, that this important moment in history never be forgotten. We were here. We made it possible by our hard work in our democracy to advance the cause of civil rights and to make sure that equality really was the standard uh, that we adhered to. And I was honored to be part of this overall grassroots movement. But I do want to credit everyone who participated, our legislators and those who uh, came together in the legislature to urge the legislature to pass the bill. But then all the people in the community, if you think of last summer and into the fall, all, all the folks who worked on this mission and long before that as well, this has been a lifelong mission for many, many people and its culmination in the past week with the official uh, effective date of the law really, really, I think, says great things about all of us in our time here on Earth. 
You know, when I signed the bill, I talked about love and the importance of equality. Uh, and I think it is important that we celebrate today and every day. If I wasn't there to sign the bill, if I had lost the election by 31,000 votes, we wouldn't be here today. And I think that is a lesson to all of us that getting involved in election campaigns and in politics and democracy is indispensable. Democracy is not a spectator sport. It's all of us. We are the people. We perfect our union. Our union isn't uh, always infallible or perfect. We have to help work to make it a better place and a better union. So I think that it was a tribute to the efforts of so many people. I'm very grateful to all who helped me get elected. So I was there to sign that bill. And on that day, I signed the bill. I said, love is patient, love is kind, love endures, love never fails. Thank you very much.